Dr. Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, welcome everyone. Great. So many accepted our invitation uh, to this early Monday morning press conference. Uh, Daimler Truck sets the air. Some might have wondered why we are here. And the answer is fairly easy. Trucks is all about technologies. Did you know that a regular today's on highway truck has about 400 sensors on board? And that it has about 100 million lines of software code? It's mind boggling if we think about it. And every truck we sell today in the on highway business is constantly online sending data to make the truck and the usage of the truck better and more efficient. But before we focus on technology, let's focus on business today. Business is going, as you all know, very strong. 2018 is the most successful year for Daimler trucks. We had record sales with more than half a million trucks sold in 2018, particularly strong in the United States, very strong in Indonesia, India, and good market in, in Europe and other markets around the world. We can confirm our EBIT forecast, which will be significantly above prior year, but please understand that more details we will show on our annual pre press conference on February 6th uh, when we talk about the, the uh, results of the year 2018. More about business from Roger Milton in the US uh, in a moment. Uh, and sometimes uh, you, I, you wonder where the good results come from. The good results, in our opinion, come, always come from customer focus. We feel obligated to innovate. We feel obligated uh, to really think about what does the customer need to get in his business better. A lot of people who follow me since a couple of years know uh, nobody buys a truck because he wants to buy a truck. He buys a truck because he has to, he has to do a job. In 1896, Daimler invented the truck. And by the way, the first truck was invented to haul beer, yeah, to bring more beer, more efficient, and faster uh, to the areas where it's, where it's needed. Uh, and since then, we continued. Yeah? It didn't start in Silicon Valley, it started in Bad Cannstatt. It did it started in a garage, it started in a greenhouse. But the basic principle was the same. Take an idea, make a game changer, and then keep on improving and reinvent it. And we are here, so more than 120 years now later, we are still here because we reinvented ourselves over and over and over. And when it first was in mechanics, bigger trucks, higher loads, faster speeds, then came materials, composites, steel, aluminum, all things not available in 1896. But then mechanics and materials got replaced by electronics. You know, so we talked a lot about how we wire the truck, how we power the truck. And electro electronics now shift over to software and artificial intelligence. So CES and our trucks are a great match. We always develop technology, not just for technology's sake. The first thing we do is we listen to our customers. And we ask ourselves, is behind the idea a business case that makes the transportation business of the world, of the countries we serve, of those countries better and more efficient? We build to provide solutions. And therefore, with this in mind, we approach our today's topic, automated truck trucking. If you go to public, uh, there's another topic, which today is potentially more prominent in search engines and in press articles than automatic. That is electric. Electric, at the moment, in the public, yeah, like that, uh, beats automated by far. Electric tax is a key technology, and we dedicated our summer press conference entirely to that. And we are well on track launching our products in the United States, in Europe, very successful start of production for our electric city bus, the Easy Tower uh, in Europe. So today, 
I would, but uh, today I would like to focus on automated trucks. Automated trucks can take trucking and transportation to a next level and thus our economies and societies. We were the first, as you've seen in the movie at the beginning, uh, the first ones to put an automated truck on the roads. Baby steps compared to what we know today, even less or even far further away from what we can envision for tomorrow. In 2015, we introduced the vision of a highly automated truck in style at Hoover Dam with our inspiration truck. That was a big bang, a topic that hadn't been on the table before. And then, then we started the discussions, we started the development work, we started to gain knowledge, we started to gain experience, we started to develop business models out of it. So today we don't meet at the Hoover Dam, we keep here at a center called Keep the Memory Alive. When I approached the building for the very first time in my life this morning, I thought this is the outcome if an architect spends too much time in the bars of Las Vegas and he has a contractor who follows exactly what he scribbled down in the night before. And that is then the building looks like. No, it is a great piece of architecture that needs a high precision and there is no room for error if you build such an elaborate building. That building stands for the things relevant for develop automated trucks as well. Now look at our strategy and technology roadmap going forward. We distinguish when we talk about automated, we distinguish between five levels. Level two, that is a level we have reached today. Here at CAS, partially automated CAS production truck ready for the US market and the US road. Roger Nielsen will follow me here with a lot of details and later today you can drive and experience these trucks. Level two means the driver is in control, but it's supported heavily by systems regarding braking, acceleration, line keeping. That has significant benefits for the customer. It has a significant increased safety. The systems are never tired, they are never distracted, they have never a bad day. They really help to make traffic on our roads safer and safe lives. This is very important for us because safety is one of our key corporate targets. Secondly, those trucks have a better fuel efficiency. A level two automated truck can accelerate and can brake better and more efficient than even the best drivers and by far not all drivers are the best drivers, so of the not so good driver, it has an enormous benefit to make them better and to make their transportation job more profitable and therefore more efficient.